ladies and gentlemen, this is Baller Alert Alert Radio, the home of Comet Creepin', Baller Mail, Mail. Groupie Tales, Morning Wood, and Baller Wars. This is Baller Alert Radio, featuring your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns, with Sue Solo and Ferrari Simmons. The dream is real. It was all a dream. Get up, get up, get up. It's about to go down. News flash. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah. Slacking on your pimping. Uh. Turn it up. You know, if you're going to shoot, you better shoot straight because a wounded animal is the worst thing you can deal with. Fact. This is Baller Alert Radio. Featuring your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. With Sue Solo and Ferrari Simmons. The, the, the dream is real. Yeah. Oh. On that ass. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Fresh off the plane from live. Yeah. You can't feel my face, but I'm gonna do a radio show. <laughs> it's your lifestyle special, Kenny Burns, Baller Nation. The kid Ferrari Simmons. Yeah. Your favorite Ethiopian Sue Solo. <laughs> I was, Look, I was, hey, I was doing the dance Saturday. Y'all be Saturday. too short on that. Y'all have to go a little longer. I was doing the dance. Me and Sue was doing the dance in the we club Saturday. Hold on, hold on. Put the music in. Put the music in. <laughs> What do we say again? What it's called that? Esquista. 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 All my Habesha is out here doing the Esquista. It's funny on Savage and shit. I was literally going to do it at the club last night. You should. Do, it, it comes naturally. It just feels good. You know, the, the rhythm drops and you just... Yeah, I really we had we had to do something for the for, for our reach. I would Ethiopian love that. I think they would too. We had to do something. You need to get Nipsey Hussle involved. Mm-hmm. You need to get all. So give me some other popular. Lola. Oh, Lola Love yep. from DC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's the on weekend. This, the weekend. The weekend. Oh, the weekend. If we get them three, we go. I don't know that. Yes, yeah. he is. We can Young Mike Jackson. Jackson. With them. His name is Abel. Yeah, Al- uh, Abel. I thought it was Abel. Abel, nope. It's Abel. In, in our, our in our accent, it's Abel. Dope. Yeah. Speak shout to the weekend, man. Young Mike Jackson. How was your weekend? Yes. Sue Solo, baby. Ooh, the weekend was lit. I'm still trying to. Really? Still trying to catch myself. That's why I'm drinking all you this water. You fared well in the storm. I did. Actually, <laughs> what's up? What side of town were you? Because you actually, depending, the, depending on what part of Atlanta you were in, downtown yeah. I was good. I, I had good. power and all that, but, but the storm did mess up my weekend. To be honest, how, how did it mess up your weekend? Because HD was supposed to be in town, <laughs> oh. so it was a little dry this weekend. <laughs> so you didn't get that? Dude. No, I didn't get no HD this weekend. But I did go to get brunch on Saturday. Yes, look, get brunch popping. was popping. I guess everybody had cabin. Fever. Yo, my, I, I was shocked how packed it was when I saw it online. I, to be honest, I mean, just because of the I weather. Was too. Not because yeah. you're not the best host with the I most. Was, I'm I saying. was shocked too. Because it was, I, I barely got out on my flight. I was shocked. All the tables were gone. Um, bottles popping. Get brunch was super lit. So if you're in Atlanta, go to susolo.com and submit your reservation to get brunch. And then um, and we're hosting soon. Yes, soon. Yeah, because I, I got to do it. I, I love what you're doing, and I want to be a part of it. And the food better taste like Jesus made. That's all I'm saying. It's I good. just got to have good food. You'll like it. BQE. Like, is it real brunch, though? It's real brunch. Um, okay. Red velvet chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits. Right. All um, shrimp and grits. Yeah, it's, it's Southern cuisine, so BQE. Shout out okay. to y'all for that. Well, I got yeah. a couple of uh, allergies I'm going to tell you about when it's my turn. Uh, Robbie Simmons, uh, <laughs> that I just thought you're going to laugh at this one. Robbie, how was oh, your Lord. weekend? Uh, uh, typical turn up, turn up, turn up. Y'all know how I say, I say the same thing. I yeah, I, I, don't want, I don't know. No, no. You have to stop I saying typical. I have to think. I have to think. No, but you can't a lot say of stuff going typical, on. all the ordinary turn up. There's nothing ordinary about a turn up. You but I guess to, when it's your routine, you know, routine, it, it becomes. Like, but it, but it becomes no, 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 no. He was not taught that way. He was Lifestyle specialist junior. He was taught to find joy in every experience and make it the best and I see this all over Instagram but then he comes out what night on Ball Alert Radio I can't single out one particular night well when Sue can't you know we do me and um, me and my co-host at uh, the radio station uh, Fly Guy DC we do this little birthday Fly stuff. Guy what's up we do this birthday set at Compound where we have all the girls come to our section. That was a lie. I saw that. We let them get on the table. We let them wild out for like 15 minutes. I love it. And then it we, was longer then than we make 15 them minutes. Any no. titties pop out yet? They were there. Oh, the yeah, that time. always happens. Oh, <laughs> that, it wasn't 15 minutes. That was actually Hezo and Jabari's particular section that night. Uh, but we invite some in and then, you know. Mm-hmm. Big shout to the Malik stars. It was so fun. But them, y'all going to have to like check those girls yeah, a getting, little like, bit. They're getting way too drunk. 
Yeah. Y'all need to make sure down. they wearing deodorant, too. I'm coming. Ooh. Are they be funky in this? Who's Listen, the they be so lit. I think they forgot that Someone they... Someone smelled like musk. It was, a, it was the one that kept falling I'm on the couch. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I experienced that this weekend yeah. in Miami. It's not good. I had the whole crowd get in a circle to do the swag serve. This is the first time I've ever <laughs> pulled this move. You were stuck move. in it. A circle? No, a circle. I'm put, put, it, put it on the screen. So we were doing a circle... Swag surf. That's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. But the girl next to me, or the I didn't, I didn't even look she had to the right. Hits out. Yep. When I say the shit was burning the nose hairs, like <laughs> it was, it was so bad. But no, no, I'm sorry. But yes, it was. But I, I, I feel you. So that that, yeah. that that is a problem. Please wear deodorant. Yes. When you come and turn up. Um. But Art Basel was this weekend. Y'all went to Miami. That was lit. Made it out of the storm. I'm coming next. Surprisingly. Time. Yeah. Um, I had an event with uh, Dutch Masters and D Nice and I. When I tell you, we went on a tear. You use those, don't you? Mm-hmm. I enjoy oh. Dutch Masters. Oh, you do. I also would like to have one of those glass um, blunt things that I've been seeing on the Baller Alert page. Oh, I'm sure. okay, great. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so we <laughs> did that, and then yeah, we had an amazing <laughs> time. But Miami was fucking forty degrees. Rari, what's up with that? You is city, crazy, bro. At and least the, you didn't have snow. And the ice. crazy thing is when it usually gets below fifty, people don't go outside. Yeah. So usually it's probably a whole bunch of people from out of town. No, yeah. but, but you know what's crazy? I brought nothing. Like I had to go buy a coat I had to go buy jeans I had like yeah. shorts you, thought, you assumed it was going to be warm I, yeah. I stayed an extra day to lay out Like my whole Sunday was planned around Laying out and then live Straight light skin nigga shit You talking about he going to lay out Yeah I wonder how cold That's it was My homegirl was on the beach And actually got attacked by a whole bunch of birds. She was in a swimsuit, though. <laughs> wait, wait. A bird got attacked by birds? Ooh. No, I'm joking. I'm just kidding. Time out, time out, time out. I'm just joking. I don't know. I'm just joking. Flag on the play. I'm just Flag on I'm just the, the motherfucking play. But you know what happens? The seagull, they come get you when you have a lot of food and she, you kind of don't have it. She you said know, she covered opened up. up a bag of Doritos. Yeah, oh yeah. That's all it takes. Just... That's all it yeah. takes. Because they on the beach right now in the South. You know, you gotta remember they... Yeah, fly yeah, down they flocked the down. Yeah. Yeah, but big shout out to Art Basel, man. It was a lot of people down there. Um, incredible. Oh, I had an incredible experience with my OGs. You know how I am to you. Clark Kent is to me. Mm. Yeah. And they have this party called The Originals. And like D-Nice and I had did a three-hour set at the Dutch Master. Greatest show on earth. Oh, my God. The greatest show on earth. But then we went and Clark Kent, like my OG, the one who took me at 19 around the world. When I tell you, man, me and D-Nice got on and then we bust. I'm talking about the walls off the joint. And then mm. Clark was like, Word, that's what y'all gonna do. Hold on, this motherfucker did his Superman shit and went off into this whole playlist of life. And when I tell you, I had my whole entire life <laughs> like flash before my eyes. I start, I was gonna faint. I danced so they, they was like it's so many things. So you was dancing? That, was I dancing? You know he dancing. Then somebody dance poured a whole Corona. <laughs> you love that's my that's my, that's my yeah, emotion. That's that's somebody little. poured a whole Corona on me, and I didn't even stop moving. They were trying to take a picture, and the shit was like literally running down the side of my body. Damn. So. But I had an out of body lit. experience yeah, on Saturday night. It was beautiful. Man. So yeah. big shout out to the originals: Rich Medina, DJ Clark Kent, D Nice, Tony Toka, and I know I'm missing Toka. one. I'm missing one. But salute all of the originals, man. Y'all, you and D Nice um, look alike a little bit. No, or is no. it the ball head and the, you, and the, the one photo from I the sprinter? <laughs> yeah, we had the ball alert sprinter again. You talking about that photo? Yeah. Yeah, we got. I'm younger. Always remember that. Okay, now it's time for In Case You Missed It. Just in case you missed it. Y'all, they coming for Donald. Um, and I'm so happy. Great. I'm yeah, not I'm only out. happy that they're coming for Donald. I'm happy that they are white women mm-hmm. that are coming for Donald. Did you guys see? I mean, did you see it? Yep. They have Rachel Crooks. Uh, she was on TV yesterday. Uh, one of three Trump uh, accusers who are calling on Congress to investigate details on what happened to her. And then you got the other girl who was out there, Samantha Halvey, uh, one of the three Trump accusers. Um, and she was detailing her sexual misconduct by the... Can you play that clip? You need to play this clip. You need to- he used the elevator bank um, to get to his residence right outside our office. So I would see him almost daily, you know, waiting for his elevator. Um, and on one day, I decided to introduce myself because I did see him regularly. Um, and he shook my hand, you know, and he kind of gave me the normal double cheek kiss. Um, but then he held on to my hand and he kept kissing me. You know, he kept asking me maybe a, a question, where are you from? And kissing me again. Where is and this? Again. Where is this happening? It's right outside the elevators, right outside my office. So he kept kissing you? 
Yeah, he went, I don't know how many times back and forth, multiple, um, and then he kissed me on the lips. And I was shocked, yeah. I mean, devastated. I didn't, it happened so fast, I guess, and I, I didn't really, I wish I would have been courageous enough to be like, you know, what's going on and you need to stop this. But um, I think ultimately he got on his elevator and I, I ran back into the office and I remember hiding in um, our boss's office because no one else was there. It was early in the morning. Um, and I called my sister and I was like, I don't, I don't know what just happened, but I felt horrible. They coming for Trump and they gonna get him. They gonna get him. You wanna know why they gonna get him? It's time. Cause it's white women. White women, it's y'all fault he in office. You know that's right. You know that's that why he- That was the highest percentage of voters that, that voted for him. High, yeah. After he said, grab the- Yep. All of you white women went out there and guess who you voted for? You voted for Trump. The ones of you that did not, you are not being called out right now. But all of you white women. I guess that made them go thump that. thump when he said that. It's time. But that's why he come, that's why they gonna get him. So oh, you yeah, think when he said that go. it made them thump thump? I think that had to be their their thump thump moment for them. Yeah. So, so, Susan. So I, they put an asshole in and Jesus uh, Christ. No. Hey, I'm not saying the that's right. I'm just saying that obviously that made them go thump. Donald Dump in office. The thump thump made you Trump like that, that go to office. The thump yeah. Thump makes you yeah. The Donald thump thump made Trump dump. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, mama, <laughs> mama. That was <laughs> that was a a moment, Rory Simmons. And did y'all also see? It's all over the news. Uh, yesterday, it was a botched terrorist plot. Yeah, in New York City. I saw did that. see that. Yeah. Um, I got disturbing. A, I got a theory. Very disturbing. Talk to us. I don't think it's real. I kind of don't really. Think so I don't think. I don't I think, think it's, it's real. real. I think it's real. I don't think it's real. I think it's holiday season. I, this, this is what I think. Okay. I think it's holiday season and the real terrorists that are trying to put some shit together is really trying to make a real impact, which would be during the holiday season. So what the fucking government, local and federal does, they create these scenarios. They create these scenarios to instill fear in your hearts mm -hmm. in mind so that you're cautious. And it also puts fear in the people that are planning the real shit. I'm just saying. Mm. You know America does that's shit a good, like that's that. That's a good conspiracy. I'm serious. I'm, I'm with it. Like, I feel like it was so small, too. Like, it, it was so controlled. I don't think oh. that they coming all the way from Bangladesh to kill themselves and only injure Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, no, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. And, and only injure three people. Yeah, oh, They're coming okay, here right. to do finish something you, bigger. Let her finish the statement. Yeah, let her finish yes, the statement, thank Rari. Stop cutting yeah. her and Octavia Burns off. <laughs> But they get really? you. Really? <laughs> it's that man thing he be having going on. Uh, it's the man thing. No, but you're right though. But I. Yep. But, but my thing is, and it happened downstairs mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the subway. Mm -hmm. We caught him. Oh yeah, the guy over there shot. He's mm -hmm. whatever looking. This, which is totally racial too, by the way. But anyway, I just think it's a whole conspiracy theory. Yeah. So and Gabrielle Union, y'all, she um had some things to say about Ryan Destiny from Star. You know, she's that's my baby. She's so cute. That little chocolate drop. You know, what I'm talking about looking she like a young Kim okay. Kim okay. Porter. You she's know, what sexy. I'm she she's got so sexy. Cute. I think her and Quincy should go together in real life, though. Ooh. But what, what happened? Tell us what that happened. That is kind of cute, huh? No, I would like that. All right. In Gabrielle Union's new book, We're Going to Need More Wine, she talks about meeting Fox's star actress, Ryan Destiny, who has been said to resemble her. Although the meeting went well, Union shared her thoughts about Destiny during the meeting and explored her insecurities in realizing... She wouldn't always be the next hot thing. Yeah. Mm. Okay, man, that's that's real of Gabby, my Scorpio sister from another Mrs. to come out and say. She's first very and foremost. Real. Yeah. That was dope. You know what I'm saying? But that little girl's so cute. Ryan's so cute. And I want her to blow because she sings. She she's an actress. Yeah. Um, yeah she's dope. I do I just feel like there shouldn't always we shouldn't always compare. <laughs> Glory. Don't, don't, don't get me to start shouting all up and through here. Act, actors, especially nature. black actors. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I, human nature. It is human nature. But I, I really respect that Gabby was honest in her insecurity. I, I respect that she allowed herself to just be human and have that conversation with us and let yeah. us know. Like, I'm not, it's not always going to be me. So you I'm, guys I'm think they favor? I'm going to phase out. I, I do think they favor. I, I think don't think they look that much alike. Yeah, I, I, think they they look, yeah, I think she looks more like a young Kim Porter than she does. A, uh, yeah. Exactly. I think it was a category that Gabrielle Union made for herself and I think she kind of fits the profile. Yeah. A bit. Mm -hmm. Like Wesley Snipes did for you. Um, and, <laughs> and this great... <laughs> <laughs> but wait, one, one thing, no. I just want to just say, hey. I just wish that the media, the press would just stop doing that. Like they saying right. that. Yeah, but that, that's part of the game. But I'm just saying like how they're saying that um, what is 24 karat magic. 
Oh, Bruno Mars. Bruno yeah, Mars. Like he's the next Michael Jackson or whatever like that. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, no way. There's only one, yeah. There's only one Mike. There's only one Octavia Burns. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. And they do the comparisons I just like it's all harsh the time. With, with black people, though. You know, but I, feel like I it's think it's more in with. Mm, I, I think it's way more with minorities for some reason. You know, reason. I was having this conversation so? yesterday. I do. I agree because there are not a lot of minorities 100%. already. You know, successfully in the industry. Hundred percent. So it, why why you got to compare each and every one? Like, why does the next one have to be Gabrielle? Why can't she just be yeah, another? I think actor? Just because it's just a, a, a smaller amount. That's all. Well, or or, or so it's them saying that's what they know to be. You know, in that space, and, and they're comparing it to that versus. But anyway, we do do it as a culture. Yeah. It's, it's not a pull up thing and let's support all the way initially mm-hmm. it's kind of like let me okay. hold on and I was having a conversation about you know our leaders in hip hop like if you look at Jay Z Jay Z is not super out there aggressively in your face about what you need to do and what he thinks you should do mm-hmm. Puff is the polar opposite mm-hmm. he plays into this whole new social sphere of everyday posting multiple posts yeah. and comments and his opinion da, da, da. but you know at the end of the day I think you know there has to be some type of leadership with a switch. Yep. Leadership with a switch that says, okay, it's time for the next generation and it's cool. Come on, let me support anybody. Yep. It's like me deeming both of y'all, yep. you know, young superstars and let me give you a chance on the platform that I had control of. You yep. feel what I'm saying? That's, that's exactly, exactly how it happened too. Yeah. I can say, I can exactly say, I can say a Caucasian scenario. Okay. Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. White. White people. White. Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. They yeah. was comparing the shit out of uh, yeah. Aaron Rodgers to Brett Favre until he won the chip. When he won the chip, Mm-hmm. Left him alone. So you can smile at a bitch right in the face the Caucasian way. That might but be all you got. There's nothing. Wrong. They don't even play the same. There's nothing wrong with comparisons when you don't, you know, literally live by it. Like you as the like, like Ryan, if she doesn't take it like you know what I'm saying? I want to be like Gabby. I'm striving. It's like me. At 23, I didn't have a record label yet. And Puff did. And I was kind of gauging success on like mm-hmm. what he was right, doing. Right. Okay, well, mm-hmm. I'm not there. But no, you can't do that because yeah. your journey is your journey. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't just like put it out there like the comparison is bad because if anybody, when Andre Harrell, when he hired, him, hired me in Motown, this is the new Puff Daddy. I don't care because guess what? I looked up to him too, but I'm going to do me and I'm going to create my own lane. And I think that's what Ryan's doing. They did that to me and you too. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I kept well, you know, I kept, they kept comparing me to Kenny. Yeah. I was like, yo, like, I'm not Kenny. Yeah. I'm going to do me. 100%. And you've been Talk doing amazing. amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of somebody doing a lot of shit uh, with a lot of people stuck in this house, um, R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a f- <laughs> <laughs> He got his house yeah. broken into. A lot of people saying that the brothers of the girls broke into free the, I'm free the girls. You know what I'm talking about? They, the free free, the they freed the sex slaves. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't going to say bitches. Comments, like free they the bitches. his ass I wasn't, up. You saw me see it. See, looked at it. I, I wasn't going to say that. He's been getting it bad. I've been lately. drinking. I just got out of the club. He just left the club. He just left the club. But no, but I'm saying, though, but I, I literally, people, I, I almost like, did somebody go, go in there that was related to one of the girls? I really think that. Well, who else would it be? The man was kind of grinning a little bit in the mugshot, too. First of all, he had about, how many girls did he have in there? Six, right? 200. What? No, I'm what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think he had about six, though, right? Hey, R. Kelly. I was about to Hold cry. On. It was more than four, though. It was yeah. definitely more than four. Yeah. I know for a fact it was yeah. more than wow. four. Wow. Yeah. He had like R- six girls. R. Kelly, I want to talk to R. Kelly. R. Kelly, listen, bro. Listen, real talk. You're one of the most creative uh. savants of our time. But this is fucking your whole shit up, bro. Like this sex, like you, 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 you beat the shit on BT. You had the braids on. You look guilty as a motherfucker, but you beat the shit, man. You got away, and that was supposed to be the end of the shit. Hey, bro. I just because I don't have no more, not no more superhero. Hey, bro. I don't have no more superhero. Hey. I love R. Kelly's music, but I can't love it because I seen you pee. Hey. Look, I seen it. <laughs> I man, seen he it. married Aaliyah when she was seventeen. He needs to stop coming to the club with these. This is a young fact. ass girls. This I is mean, a fact. he is. In Atlanta, like it's nothing. Honey. This is a fact, Dang. y'all. He married Aaliyah when she was seventeen, yeah, wow. with her parents' consent. Mm. Fuck out of here. That's a fact. Yes, bro. Put the document on. Look the screen. that shit up. Put the document on the screen. Long story short, I just I don't want him to be that. But it's too late. Yeah. But so the next R. Kelly out there, because we compare. <laughs> the, next, the next R. Kelly out there, I need y'all. Since you know what I'm saying? Well, well they were saying some, that was Trey Song. Well, no, Trey Song is a cold player. We're not going to knock him off yet. When we? Yeah. No, that's Tank. That's, that's Tank. tank okay, man. great. On to the next. Congratulations. Boy, you de- <laughs> I like bang, bang, shoot him up when shit. We, I don't like R&B like that. Bang, bang, shoot him up. When we? 
No, R&B, listen, the right R&B is mm-hmm. rap music, bruh. The right, uh, that 90s R&B, that was colder than rap. Okay, next, Um, congratulations goes out to LaToya Luckett yeah. and Tomicus Walker, a.k.a. The Walkers. Uh, oh, they, they married? They married, bro. They married? got married on Sunday. She married to She's my gone. friend. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to talk about that. So yeah, so we um are congratulating <laughs> that beautiful couple on their nuptials. Black excellence went down uh, in Texas. I forgot whether it was Dallas. I think it was Dallas. Um, but they had the wedding and uh, it was beautiful. My wife and I were supposed to go, but I was working. Um, so we're sending gifts. I think we sent the gifts already. So enjoy it. I hope you make some babies this week. Oh. The dream is real. You know what I'm talking about? So big shout to uh, LaToya and Tomika. Yeah. Walker. I wonder what that gift is for you to say. I hope you yeah. make some babies. Yeah. Well, I just want to make some babies because that's, cause. you know what I'm saying? It's the, mm. the honeymoon nice phase. Nice little big mm. pillow top. be fucking like rabbits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or that lion on Instagram. Did you see the lion on Instagram? The female lion? No. Okay, that's not a good example. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> so you can put it on the screen. Fuck it. Just put it on the screen. <laughs> I was like, this has nothing to do. No, this has nothing to do with Toya and Ty, but this female lion. <laughs> was in there getting the business. You know what I'm saying? But it was three lions oh, running oh, she the got train. A train. Yeah, yeah, the female what? lion got a train ran on her. You didn't see that Yeah, shit. it was one lion that hit her quick. Boom, 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 boom. Quick. Yeah. Put it on the screen. Put it back on the screen. Then yeah. the second lion came, hit her real quick. Boom. Then she yeah. got up and, and looked walked for, to yeah. the third lion. Come hit that. Yeah. It was a... F- and she put her ass So in she gets face. pregnant. If she get pregnant, like, how she would she, how would, which lion is. would know it's his it, cub? It don't even matter. They don't even do testing for lions. They're they they don't, they going to smell it. They're going to smell the cub and no, see if it smell like it. That's not him. how that works. Uh, that's how it works in the animal world. That was creepy. It's going to smell how it works the cub. Soon, soon. He's, 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 you, how do you how know that? Is, exactly. How do you know I'm that? African, and we know about wildlife. <laughs> What's going to happen is the, the we, lion is going to smell the cub. When we And if the cub smells like him, he's going to take a Oh, my God. Hey, can you put it back on the screen and put some R&B music going on? Yeah. <laughs> when we... Who came to make sweet love, not me? Who came to kiss and love, not me? Who came to beat it up, Rocky? Yeah. Throw some tank on. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some tank on. <laughs> when we... Fuck. Hey, yo, that song, big shout out to Tank. Hey, yo, Tank, man, That's I salute your grind, boy. Shake the screen yeah. a little bit when they eat. eat <laughs> yeah. Man. When, eat when we... That is, yo, that's, that might be my new favorite song. It, it okay, is. Okay, it's going down in the club this weekend. Um, also, your girl Issa Rae, she's nominated. I love you, Issa Rae. For Every, a Golden everyone Globe. Loves her. Everyone she's, loves her. She's like the awesomest when, black you know, girl. Ever since the scene where, you know, the the ejaculation happened on her face. Hey. That went viral. When it got in her eye. Show when it got in her eye. I didn't see that, Caesar. I want to see that. What? I, I never you saw You didn't see that? I, I, I've i watched a season. That was it such was a great episode. How many seasons has it been? Uh, two sure. seasons. Okay. All right. Yeah, two I seasons. It. I think. No, that that episode Bruh. is hilarious. It, oh, that opened so much dialect like, like between my girlfriends. We were like, "Girl, do you how you do you suck dick? Ooh. When you suck dick?" Oh. Ooh. Go ahead. <laughs> She got hella she got a little person. Cause I'd be grabbing the HD like hey, this. Hey, do tell, do yeah. tell. What's that guy with the little? That that episode, and I was like, damn, I ain't got no friends. <laughs> do tell. <laughs> it was such a great episode. Got a little tense right now. Yeah. Like, oh, she was, that's how she, she was mad it? that so she, so she sucked his dick. Overlap? Which she normally she said she normally doesn't do it. Right. And then like she went off of it, and you know he he ejaculated. And it went in her eye and she flipped out on him. It was a girl, that was a great episode. Super, that shit went super viral. This, right? So when you do the thing and then you thing and that's I, like super. I felt so sorry for her. I was like, girl, you supposed to pull it back and go to the side, girl. You just like stay oh, in the Oh, Hey, in the view. you don't want to know it's too much. I'm a little <laughs> sister. All right. Hey, also hey, nominated for a Golden Globe is Blackish. First Give it up for Blackish. Yeah. That's the new yes, Cosby. Yes, yes. They are the new Cosby. Are we comparing again? I'm Ooh. sorry. They're not the new Cosby. See, they're black. We, we See, can't we get just, away from that's it. That's normal. That's no, what I'm trying to say. It's normal. Yeah. And 30 under 30, uh, 30. Y'all know how the Forbes mm-hmm. uh, magazine does 30 under 30. So yes. big shout to Marley Diaz. She becomes the youngest. She has a movement called 1,000 Black Girl Books mm-hmm. and she's on there doing her thing. And how old is she? So proud of her. She's 12. She's wow. super young. Yes. I was not even thinking of business at 12. Nope. I don't know what I was doing, but it wasn't Forbes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, K. Michelle. K. Michelle talking about getting her butt all the way taken out. Yeah, well, I actually have like a full, like another surgery on 12. Um, like people always talk about getting these butt shots, but they don't talk about the consequences or whatever. I'm just at a point in my life where I lost a lot of weight and it's just big. And I've been trying to get back to my regular body. 
And really the only way is to remove what they call foreign objects from there. So I'm actually getting, instead of like light pointing, I'm actually getting them removed and my butt shaped to how it was. I just be like, I want to go back to how my mama had me. Like, you, you get so caught up in life and the world and what you think you want, you don't even want it. Yo, I just want to say something to all the women with, with nice butt one. injections because I went to the doctor last week, you know, do my annual, got my blood oh, work. Okay. And, at, you know, at this point in my life, I've never had anything, nothing like really wrong. So I said, let me get an allergy test. Mm -hmm. and I'm coming back to y'all butts in a minute. <laughs> but I said, let me get an allergy test. That shit sucks. So they You're stick allergic. you with all this shit. Well, I haven't gone to, I'm doing that next. So I, at your that doctor now, sucks. they offer blood panel, like through your blood yeah, and yeah. you do a whole allergy. I get a call in the middle of the storm Right, I'm trying to get haircuts and stuff on Friday when it's starting, when it's coming down mm -hmm. to get out of town Saturday morning, and she calls me. I'm driving; it's hella snow. I'm like, "Yo, what's you know, what's what's up?" Like, she's like, "Give me your date of birth." I'm like, when you she said, "Give, give me your date of birth," I'm like, "Wait, hold on. You know who you called? You know who you're talking to? Why are you asking? I'm nervous as a motherfucker. Like, right. what's wrong?" So she's like, "Uh, yeah. So you're you're perfectly healthy, um, you know, but you're allergic to everything. What? Everything. She didn't say." What I was allergic to. She said, you are allergic to everything. I'm like, what do you mean everything? She's like, you're allergic to bananas. I eat bananas every day. Wow. She said, you're allergic to wheat bread. I eat wheat bread every day. So I'm like, what the fuck? So anyway, to the point of the butts, right? Y'all got to go to the doctor and get checked out. Now, there are fatty injections that people take, you know, doctors take fat from your body mm -hmm. in proportion. Brazilian butt lift. But that's scary. Like, I'm just thinking about, no, and you know me, I work out. I mean, I kick it, I live life full of yeah. I work out, I eat good. I mean, I'm, ba I'm balanced. But that shit in your body that ain't yours, like for all of y'all got to get that shit taken out of your body. Yeah. I really, but, and so when, when we heard it came to shows, I was like, please. Right. Please. Because, I mean, first of all, it's out of control how many people have done it. I have, in Miami this weekend, I've never seen so many fake asses in my Miami life. Miami got in my life. capital. That's the cap. I'm almost desensitized. Like, I don't even want to see them no more. Like yeah. some of them be too big. Yeah. Though, bro. Yeah, but I'm worried about the health mm -hmm. because putting foreign shit in your body anyway is already, you know what I mean? So big shout out to K Michelle. I hope that is what's happening. I think a lot of people are getting on their health kick right now. You know, well, you only get one life. Is, yeah, for sure. So I I commend anybody who is willing to readjust their image again because obviously you did that because you wanted that image so yeah. now for you to get yourself back into this mental space where okay you know what I'm fine with exactly who I am my health is my number one priority so and big shout to all the that, women out huge. there that are promoting that that promote yeah. who they are in general Natural you know what I'm saying because bodies, yep. if I see one more like side boo with a partial nipple or an ass no thong it's just straight asses it's desensitizing America. There's nothing special about you at that point because we've seen it all. There's no mm -hmm. mystique. There's no mystery. There's no, mm -hmm. um, you can win this um, on your birthday. Um, now it's time for Baller Mail. Message. Are cell phones ruining date night with Bay? Ooh, that's a good one, Rari. Peace Kiss, what's happening? It's my partner in crime. Dream team, dream team. When in a relationship, you have to set time aside for the two of you to enjoy one of another. Date night should take place often to keep it fresh. The issue with some dates is the lack of attention from either party. Nowadays, when people go on dates, they are also so consumed with their cell phones. From taking selfies, recording videos, facts. trolling celeb accounts, Super facts. and talking ish on Ball Alerts comments. Hey, <laughs> thank you for your support. Now, there is nothing wrong with being on social media, but when you're supposed to be enjoying Bay, you shouldn't be on your phone the entire night. Ask each other about your day, their day, or the week. Tell them how much you appreciate one another. Just be thankful to be in a, such a positive place together. Next time you're out with your boo, put both phones in the middle, face down, just to talk to each other. What, what you don't want to do is allow your phone to replace your significant other. Man, that's fit acts. Yeah. Super facts. Mm -hmm. The only time you should be I'm on really your phone. I'm really bad with that. I ain't gonna front. I'm really bad because, like, for you example, like my phone. phone. I mean, it's my. I get money text messages. Like, yeah, but like, you can so. you can be on your phone. This is the rule I think you should establish in relationships. When you're on a date with Bay, the only time you can look at your phone is when you're actually eating. Because you don't need to be talking with food in your motherfucking mouth anyway. That's a good That's one. That's not a bad idea. Can you feel me? Repeat that one more time. No, I'm just saying, like, if you're on a date with Bay, there should be a rule. The rule should be. 
while you're actually eating is the time that you participate on your phone. Check your message, check your DMs, check your whatever you're going to check. Lit. And then when you're done and there's no food in your mouth. Put it face down and put it in the middle. And talk. I like that. I like that. That's a good balance. That's a good Especially one. Especially for us because I think a lot of people don't understand that we do need to make sure we're on our phones. Like you I think ignore us yeah. for an as hour media, you might have missed some money. Yeah, us as a media like we get updates mm-hmm. like Yeah, like, but also way. too but, it's, you, but you, you have, have to have let balance. the person exactly yeah. because you're right. Th- th- this is the problem people they don't have balance. Mm-hmm. I suck at that. I ain't gonna front. We we have to have balance. You can't just be so into something and be consumed with that that you forget. I tell my sons all the time, just look up sometimes. You, we going somewhere new You don't know where you are You don't know what neighborhood we in Because your phone is down On the damn You know what I'm talking about Just look up sometimes mm-hmm. When you're out in the street And you know I, I always tell You know My, my play sisters and, and, and all the girls in my life Look up Look around you When you're shopping in the mall Everybody by the way This is the holiday season They following people home They noticing what y'all shopping And what y'all buying in these stores Keep your head up Keep your head up, right? Mm-hmm. Head down to you know. You never know. So just texting be and driving safe is real there. bad too. If you yes. really if you're driving, just pay attention to people. Everyone's on their phone. There should be a law. There should be a law. If you're caught on your phone, it's a five hundred dollar fine. Driving Uber drivers, especially, please stop. It's. I mean, it's an accident waiting to happen, man. Mm-hmm. I saw a dude almost hit my car. I had to do the event um, last Friday, here, and I'm in the snow. Go, I'm hoping they were canceling because it, it was, you know, you saw the weather conditions. Right, right, right. This dude was on his phone in that going 60 miles an hour. He swerved across the whole thing, almost wow. hit us, almost came back, still didn't hit the wall, gained traction. I'm like, bruh, you almost just like died. And, took and you saw the, you? all you saw was the light and inside just the like, car. Oh, shit. All right, let me send, let me no, send this text. So please, y'all, be careful, man. But yeah, I think that's a rule, though, right? You think that, that'll work, though? Yeah, that'll work. I think that's fair. Yeah, if you're eating, okay, then it's time to look at the phone. If you're not, yeah, put the fucking phone down. I'm I'm bad though with my phone. I literally you, check you, my you phone need, you need some while balance, I'm doing though. everything. Yeah, no. Can we practice more balance though? Right? Everything. <laughs> I had my phone. What? Yeah. Even like, yeah, well, yeah, you are, you actually sure already said, you said that a, text, a few episodes ago. If I get a text, no, 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 no. something special about what you said on accident, but you didn't say. No, if I'm getting if like, I, you know, if I'm getting like special attention. Or something he said like it that. a few weeks ago. He was like, he's even checking text, text messages yeah, during check. sex. Yeah. So, so wait, if, get if you text. get a text from a celebrity, what you have a new celebrity? I'm Not confused. a celebrity. It could be something important. Oh. Especially if I'm expecting like something important, like a phone call or a text, I'm expecting mm-hmm. something, but then that just happens to happen. Rory, I got some DMs about Baller Mail. And they were um, in regards to you. Oh, can, we, can we talk about them? I just, I want to, <laughs> seriously, they, they have questions. There's a lot of questions. Oh, spicy. <laughs> oh, um, they they want to know your relationship status, first and foremost. <laughs> He's so sincere. Do you hear? Th- this no, is I, serious. I this mean, is the Confucius voice. You're kind of, you're kind of like hot in the streets. Like just you as far as. Single and busy. Single. Okay, Booked but they want to. So, 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 yeah, so that's what you want me to. You hear that? <laughs> He's single and busy. So the other question was like, do you make time for your your relationships? Um, I don't have any relationships to make time for, so that would be a no. Okay, well I'm saying why are you being this is an opportunity for you to set the oh, guidelines for anyone tough. who approaches you. That's all I'm saying. This is so tough. True, true. I just want I cause I know you. You know what I'm saying? Right, and I, right, and right. I know okay. your grind. So I'm just trying to help you put in respect. Cause I if I'm getting DMs about you, you know. And it all, you know. Damn, you didn't get no DMs about me? I'm not. The dude knows that you posted the other day when you sent us, you know, this is some dude. And I, I wish, can we post this picture to your mind? Oh, my <laughs> if God. If you send a DM players, all my international players out there, if you got a big ass nose, you can't send a picture <laughs> of the majority of your motherfucking nose. You got to pick yeah, an angle. Whole face. Can the creepers stop? Like, I just want the creepers to stop DMing We're gonna me. Show I, need, I need some, like, I need some real ones. You know what I'm saying? The creepers, I need y'all to stop. I'm about to show you, girl. No, listen, but I want to tell y'all, see, I got a big-ass <laughs> hook head. 
I had all the hook head jokes, the watermelon head, rifle head, Captain Hook. <laughs> we got to show Octavia. But I wouldn't put myself in position to have a hook head in the motherfucking picture. This nigga sent a picture to fucking Sue. He had to take the picture right here. Don't worry. Yeah. I am interested in knowing if you would like to have some type of dinner relationship <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but why would you send, don't put that on the screen. We ain't going to blow him up like that. But why would you send that <laughs> He My dog said, said, you know what it is, Nikki. Read what he said. Uh, hey, Sue Solo, I'm such and such from St. Louis. Thought you was cute. Maybe we can grab a bite to eat. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. You ain't had you to say where he was from. Now I went on the nigga now. You know? hey, we, I ain't saying nah, but I, I'm saying, don't put your face in the junk like that. You know what I mean? He trying he try to symbolize something else. You know, hey. So, oh, he want to put his nose in her butt. Then I blow it all in your butt. Yo, actually, I have a, a, a I have a, I have something. <laughs> hey, you know. That was funny because of his note. That I didn't even mean to be funny. I'm just funny. I'm drunk. Uh, I'm not oh. drunk. Kenny and Kyle, I'm at work. Um, so, <laughs> Sue. Yes? You get quite a few DM questions yourself. One is from a guy at my gym. Oh, hey. Um, and he wants to know if you're tired of HD. Not yet. Okay. But see, that's not what you should say when you're still dating. You should say... I'm not dating. <laughs> yeah. I'm not dating. I'm going to hook you up with some. Can I set you up on a date? Yeah. Can we videotape the whole experience and share it with Ball of Nations? Sure. Because I think that, like, we're setting up a platform. So it's like a blind date. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to set you up on a blind date. Okay. We're going to tape it. Octavia, we need to create something special. Caesar. We need to create some type of I'm, something. I'm so with it. We're going to hook these two up on dates. We're going to do both now. Don't We're put do Ferrari dates. in no, it. No, 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 no. Because you going to set I just the made this up. I just made this up. You're going to get mad at me halfway yeah, through the date. Baller shit. Nation. Baller Nation. Hey, Baller Nation. It's your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. I specialize lifestyles. I want to set you up on a date with young Ferrari Simmons or Sue Solo. If you are interested in going on a date with two of these young progressive culture thought leaders, I want you to DM us a message on why you think you are a perfect fit. And, and second, um, Ferrari has jobs, not just one. He has multiple jobs, ladies. He's a perfect catch. And if you think you want to meet him, please send us a DM at Ball Alert immediately. And Sue Solo, so fellas, she is on the come up. I'm talking about making her own money. She has an identity. She has a rich culture that is soiled in seasoned Yo, food. What if you like good fuck, food man. and she can cook, I need you to DM us right now. That's Wait, right. so you can cook? She can cook. I be cooking a little song time. Yeah. Okay, she can't cook. She got a bunch of cousins. Okay, next. <laughs> Baller Nation, I need you to stay focused. So, we're also doing a new platform. Y'all ready to announce a platform? Yeah, let's do it. We're doing Kings versus Queens, the battle of the sexes. I mean bosses. All right? Kings versus Queens, yes. battle of the sexes. I mean bosses. January. January 11th, Atlanta, Georgia at the gathering spot. I suggest you have your face in a place that's never been a conversation like this. Um, it's going to get intense. Super yeah, we, raw, unfiltered. Yes, yes. It'll be but a I panel think, of amazingness. I think the conversation like this needs to be had often because... Very often, yeah. You know, men and women from the beginning, since the beginning of time never really identify. Yes, yes. But kings, and, kings versus queens, the battle of the sexes, I mean bosses... It, and I keep saying that because that's the actual, you know, that's actual thing. Um, but you know, we're putting a panel together, January 11th. Mm -hmm. um, Duval, little Duval, give it up for little Duval. He's a part yes. of it. Um, we're going to be on, announcing um, the next participant next Monday, which is our final show of the season. So Liddy. super excited, but um, we're going to have a guest panel of judges that is going to make you laugh it's gonna inspire you mm -hmm. and more importantly it's gonna cover the greatest topic in the history of mankind and that's man versus woman in the perspective Kings versus you know what I'm talking queens. about so love man love I'm so excited about this and we're gonna come to a city near you yes so please DM us um, for what city you wanna see um, the Ball Alert Radio team in that market and um yeah it's time it's for a uh, comment creeping baby creep creep hey from his phone time creep creep so this comment creeping is a little personal because I just I just want to know. It's, it's it was about me today. Talk to us. It was about you. It was about me. Tony Braxton mm -hmm. sending positive vibes to everyone on this lovely Friday. She has a cute picture posted. Super cute. Yeah. Tamar responds, "Well, work it out then, Miss Williams." And then she adds, "Birdman." Oh. Are they engaged? Miss Williams. So that I thought, they, were, I thought they got privately married. Yes, no? Wait, they? no. Like, did 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 that really happen? 
Allegedly. Alle- so, okay. Allegedly. Tony Braxton is a supreme example of the cute church girl. Keeping her business on the low. No, okay, that's That's true. But the cute church girl that like ends up with the super thug. And he's like a super thug. He's like a super thug. So oh, left. So left. But is that not I the, I like cause I mean you always think like these these girls, these church girls, super fine. She, Tony Braxton's super fine. And she she, she I know likes Birdman be like, hey, come here, you hear me? Come here, show me, you hear me? <laughs> brr, brr. Wait, 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 wait. Birdman, wait. hand rub. But this the same wait. Tony Braxton who used to sneak and listen to Rick James. Yeah, I'm sure. See, that's what she's with. Octavia Burns be having a fun fact. Give me some yeah. more Birdman. <laughs> you know, that's just that New Orleans, you hear me? Uh, but I was going to say, <laughs> you be like, watch your mouth. But listen, <laughs> he like, I, I will say, I will say, I can tell that Birdman really loves her. You know how yeah. you can kind of tell? It's just really good energy. Just like the vibe. The Between them two? Yeah. You can just tell the energy. I feel like every, really every hood energy. dude always, like when he gets like the good girl, yeah. he's so into her. Like just more Certain patient. Certain couples and, don't look right though. They look No, they don't like look right. They, they, they don't like, fucking look right. What they are you do talking about? He tattooed his entire face and head. I'm joking. I'm I think, joking. I think Birdman. you mean like the vibe. Girl. The vibe, I, I, I get that. They do have a good vibe. <laughs> they have like a ball of energy that I could tell that they're inseparable. Well, good for Tamar though because I feel like Tamar has been really positive and she has, you know, all Bro, this all that stuff, stuff going, going on. on yeah, Vincent, she's been Jesus. super positive. And, and just... Did you see when the mama said that about Vincent about when he, she came down to the kitchen they would sound like the tornado was in the house and then he came her crazy. I was like, damn. that's just... And she ran yeah, and ran. locked herself exactly. in the room while Tamar was crazy. getting beat up. That's crazy. So big shout to Tamar. I hope you're doing good. Allegedly baby. or or that happened? Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. Ain't no charges been charged. Until, it's been, until you've been fingerprinted and prosecuted, there's a chance. Sheesh. You know what I'm talking about? The big shout out to Tamar and Birdman. Wish y'all the Williams. best. Give, give them some love, man, because black excellence yeah, and love comes folks. in many shapes and tattoos. Um. <laughs> so, Sue, do you like them together? I just want to know that before we... I'm confused by it. Why? I just, I just, I'm confused. It doesn't seem like real. They don't match. Like to you? Their, their vibe is cool, but I don't know about getting married. Like that part just seems a little off. Mm. I think she's in love with him, though. I, I don't. Love? I don't. You can't help who you love. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't doubt that. I don't Maybe doubt she's that. like you know she she's like the only person that can calm him down. Maybe. Cause I know a lot of women that are dating some handsome motherfuckers, and I ain't talking about handsome. <laughs> These niggas I mean, looking crazy. I'm not talking about Birdman. Okay, now it's time for Confucius says. Confucius says. You know, Baller Nation. I was thinking over the weekend, and in my two decades of curating pop culture, I ran into a lot of haters. Never really paid attention to them or let them affect my paper, but they were there. And all during my ascension, I would see these motherfuckers and have to smile and keep it moving. Mm. And I did it because they never intended for me to play in their sandbox. Mm. But guess what I did? I played in my own motherfucking sandbox. I didn't waste no time wasting sand in a land that wasn't down for this man. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Bars. And then, on top of that, I seen them again and again. And they were in the same place they started when they tried to hate on me. But guess where I was? Here. Mm. Motherfucker. I was here. And now that you cannot not hire me because if you do you won't have a job if you do hate you won't have a job cause see young world it gets to a point where they have to fuck with you Mm. where if they don't cut you the check their bosses are looking at them like why didn't you get him Mm -hmm. or why didn't you get her so don't fret do you because if you do you long enough, they'll pay you to be you. Fuck the haters. Thank you. The God dream. Bless. Good night. Is real. The baller alert. The dream is real.